The transcension hypothesis tells us that advanced civilizations don't expand outward into space colonizing stars and galaxies, but instead turn inward hikikomori style, trying to cram themselves down into a smaller and smaller computational density. It claims that all alien civilizations are following this universal evolution pattern, progressing from biological to digital intelligence, then scaling themselves down to the quantum computing level, and ultimately toward black hole-like conditions, where space, time, and matter reach their computational limits. Like water naturally flowing downhill, civilizations might naturally flow toward these states of maximum density and efficiency. Why conquer solar systems when a basketball-sized sphere of quantum compute would suffice at storing all the needed digital consciousnesses and letting them thrive? This would explain why we don't see evidence of alien megastructures or galactic colonization, they've all followed this inward path of transcendence beyond our ability to detect them. And they all very likely end up inside of black holes as final destinations. The Bekenstein bound shows that black holes can store the maximum amount of information in a given space, be that either microscopic or supermassive ones, making them ideal destinations for civilization seeking to maximize their computational density. The extreme time dilation caused by gravity means they could compute and experience very large amounts of time while the outside universe is in super fast forward motion. So if you were to fall into a black hole, potentially instead of instant spaghettification, you'd be knocking on the door of some crazy quantum alien party. Explore the other obscure Fermi paradox solutions in the full video.